So wherever you want your anchor knot, <clears throat> you know, your first one, you do a simple like lay the rope on top of itself. Mm -hmm. You reach through, grab the working end, and pull it up through. You wanna reach through the, the loop you made and grab the same ropes that are going around your wrist. These right here. Hold on to them really good. Here's the bite. You're gonna take the two ropes over your wrist, pull it all the way down to the bottom of the knot, and then take the slack out. And the name of this knot? This is a middle line bowling. Middle line bowling. Or a bowling on a bite. But if you're, we're making a bowling in the middle of the rope. Right. Then you wanna take two snap links, Clip in. And that hooks the bowl into the anchor. To the anchor. Yeah. Gotcha. And then <clears throat> then this is your primary knot. Our secondary knot <clears throat> is this anchor point. And again, we don't want we don't want it to be pulling like this because this is a primary knot. So we want the rope to pull here. And then if this would ever pop or break. So let some slack So in a there. little bit of slack, just like this. Okay. And again, you do the same thing. Wherever you want the bite, just make your fist, bring the rope around, reach through, grab the working end, pull it up through. Just make a little loop right there. Reach your hand through the loop, grab the same ropes that are going around your wrist, and then pull that loop over, and then we're gonna take the slack out from the loop that was in our hand. And there's your middle line bowling. Great. And same, you still got two of those on there as well, the yep. snap links, All right. And it's we're, good to use We're the not same using two. this today because we don't have enough rope. And it's good to use the same two size snap links because if one was smaller, bigger, it's, it would, it's only pulling on one snap link instead of two either. Roger. That quick lock. If we had a bag, we do. We do. <laughs> then we take all this access and put it in the bag. Get all this, anything out of the way. And there it Great. is. Great. All right. Super. Okay. And then you got this going around once here. Well, the reason. This is, uh, it, it just, it's its sort of like another anchor point, Roger. you know, and if we did use a rescue ladder, you know, still, uh, this would not lock it in. So we could still uh, release the rope all the way down and lower them down. Again, you want to have at least 15 feet of rope on the ground. Uh, and the only thing here is, like I said, you got to be careful if someone does fall, that greater, that belayer needs to run probably out to the side. Okay. If they run straight back, you know, just in the fence. fence. So, right. just something to be careful about. Okay, great.